what you guys in this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can recover data from a micro SD card now you can use this method to recover data from any type of uh, SD card really and uh, we're going to be using uh, the tools in front of us and some data recovery software now, as you can see here this is the actual uh, micro SD card that we've got here it's a little bit out of focus uh, but we're going to use this little adapter and uh, we're going to plug it into this adapter so we can then plug this into our computer now we've also got a USB uh, device here which will allow us to plug this into it so we can then put this into our computer so we can then scan that drive okay so we're going to slot this into the little adapter here and then we're going to pick up this little device here and uh, plug it in now this is a useful way to get it detected on the computer so we can then scan that drive with some recovery software and the data on this is gone so whether you've got deleted files formatted or whether it's got corrupted in some way shape or form like this did then you can always try to recover data by using software first so these are pretty cheap these little uh, devices you can pick these up uh, for like 10 quid or something like that they're not that expensive so we're going to plug this into the computer now and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how we can go about trying to recover data on it so here we are on the computer and uh, what we're going to do here is open up my computer. You can see the USB flash drive here is detected as a USB flash drive, uh, but it's not a USB flash drive. It's actually uh, a micro SD card plugged into a USB uh, drive device. You can see it's at 30 uh, FAT32. And also what we're going to do here, you can see there's no data on here. And we're going to try to use some software. Now the software I like to use is called Get Data Back and uh, this is not a free piece of software and I've been using this for many years and I've used loads of different software over the years and I find get data back is probably one of the best data recovery softwares out there and it seems to recover a lot of data that I've had trouble recovering before that supports many different types here NTFS FAT12 FAT16 FAT32 XFAT and so on you've got a live CD you can use uh, to recover data you've got a WinPE version here you can download and use as well now as I said this uh, works on normal hard drives mechanical hard drives also solid state drives and stuff like that so now we've got our software installed you'll see that it will have a list of drives here that you've got plugged into that computer you can see the disk free which is the 29.7 gigabytes and that is our micro SD card once we click on this we've got a couple of choices here you can either uh, click on the sophisticated scan which I'll show you now and uh, this is going to allow you to do a complete scan of that uh, drive or that uh, SD card or micro SD card or whatever it is you're trying to recover data from or you can do a quick scan okay now sometimes a quick scan may be enough for you but I like to do a deep scan so I'm going to go back to sophisticated and we're going to do a complete scan sector by sector of that uh, drive and then try to recover data. Now you can see all the sectors being listed up here. This is where all the information is displayed on that drive or on that micro SD card in this case and it's going to scan that whole card. Now it may take a bit of time and as you can see the uh, directories uh, identified and it also shows you the files identified uh, at the top there and they're all listed now this will take a bit of time so I'm going to speed this process up and skip this part but you just have to leave this running okay and you can't uh, recover data uh, from the drive that you're scanning okay so if you've got one drive in there and you're trying to recover data from that drive you won't be able to do it you need to put that drive that you've recovered onto another uh, drive if that makes sense so we're just going to let this uh, continue to scan now I know this is not a uh, free software but uh, software like Recover and stuff like that just won't be able to uh, recover data like this okay so we're going to click on the FAT32 part at the top and you should see all the uh, folders that have been listed and files that have been listed on this and you can see all my music is there it's recovered all this music there's tons of music on here and I actually uh, lost this it all got corrupted and I lost all my music so you can see here I'm trying to try and recover this now and I'll just show you quickly I'll recover just one just to show you it's pretty straightforward all you need to do is go to the uh, folder that you want to recover right click on here and uh, you will then see at the bottom it will start to list uh, a way to copy your files across you can maximize the screen and go full screen if you wish but as you can see here all I need to do here now is right click here 
and uh, as soon as I right click you'll see the uh, info view open and copy at the bottom so we're just going to copy this Alton Ellis uh, song here and you can get the information on it if you wish you can open it up and it will open that file up as you can see and it will start to play I've muted the sound so we don't get done for copyright for music uh, but pretty much you'll see that works now perfectly fine and uh, now to copy this I'm just going to copy this file and choose a destination to a place where I want to back this data up to now this has to be i.e. another location not on the drive that you've actually scanned so what I'm going to do here is put it into a recovered data folder and then click OK and that should then recover uh, that file now if you're recovering sensitive documents uh, or other types of documents it will do more than just one type of file like music it will do video files uh, documents pictures anything like that it will recover just about anything and as you can see here we've now got our recovered data here and that's pretty much it and this program is very good at recovering data it's probably one of the best ones out there okay anyway I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now Thank <laughs> you.